Okay. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Can't find it. Good morning, everybody. It's Gary Brown with uh, with Tug. I want to welcome you to the webinar, and uh, we're going to get started here in just a second. As soon as I can find my video, which isn't here. So this is what we call a technology fail. We've practiced multiple times, and now that we're going live, uh, we had a video, and I can't find it. Okay. All right, so let's move on. Um, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to introduce Stella Kofeld. She's a TUG board member, and she'll be the MC for our, con for our uh, webinar today. So, Della, here you go. Thank you, Gary. Good morning, everybody. I'd like to extend a warm welcome to everyone. If you've never heard of TUG and don't know who we are, please visit our website at theusergroup.org. TUG is a network of users just like you. For those of you who know TUG but have never been to our annual conference, TUG Connect, it's a conference designed by users for users, and it will help you get the most out of the software you already own. We're recording this webinar today. We're going to be playing some videos during the webinar, so make sure to turn up your volume. You're going to hear from a number of network leaders and a couple of keynote speakers all to give you a slight taste of the value you'll get from attending the conference. So let's get started. So Grant Howard is an internationally recognized distribution authority and major contributor to the design and implementation of best practices, inventory management, and replenishment systems, operational excellence, transaction efficiency, result-driven measurement, and proper technology utilization. Multiple years of practical, hands-on distribution experience, in addition to sitting on most the board of directors and advisory boards, his top-to-bottom and bottom-to-top experience allows him to share a results-driven approach which drives results rather than hopes for results. He presents his best practice and how-to sessions for many distribution associations, distribution software houses, and distributors. Grant is the conceptual designer of the advanced inventory management features and te techniques in SXE, SACS, and a ERP systems, as well as multiple business intelligence and analytics platforms. Grant is going to join us. Let's say a few words. Grant, Grant. We don't have Grant. Gary? Yes, we can hear you. All right, perfect. I was halfway through that already. Sorry about that. All right. So um, thank you, Dell. I appreciate the introduction. And um, just to start off with, I um, want to say that I've been attending Tug Connects since its inception as an attendee, um, as a presenter, and often both. And just to put it out there, it is a absolutely amazing group with a group of amazing people. And the best part is the amazing things that you can take back from it to your organization and implement. Um, if you've never been to a TUG, it's a very exciting event. Gary, go ahead and advance into the sessions, if you would. At TUG this year, I'll be involved with seven different sessions. Two of them I'll be presenting as Grant Howard sessions and five others as co-presenter or as um, um, sit-in guests along that line. On Wednesday through the SIGs, um, Wednesday morning, I'll be joining the FACT Network meeting. Um, from 8.45 to 9.45, and we'll be going over AIM features, Advanced Inventory Management. Um, and then in the afternoon, I'll be at the AIM Network meeting. Um, everyone's welcome to join that. It's often SX-geared, but again, Advanced Inventory Management applies across the board. 
Then on Thursday, 8 a.m., Gary getting you up early, um, best practices inventory management. This is non-system specific, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a moment. Then I'm sitting in with an A-plus aim with Dave Baum Thursday, and then a pro advisor, which is a business intelligence and business analytics system we've been working with, with um, Ernest & Associates, one of Infor's partners. Um, that's a session not to miss. And then on Friday, um, presenting a mini keynote, management by objectives and management by measurement. And again, I'll speak a little more on that in just a moment. And then that afternoon or evening, um, FACT, Advanced Inventory Management with Tim Plotner. So those are the seven sessions I will be involved with. Gary, if you could go to the next slide. Um, as far as the best practices, you were there, now go back. There you go, thank you. Um, as far as the best practices on Thursday morning, I keep switching back and forth, Gary. I'm not sure why. It's Great. there, Grant. Go ahead. Okay, there we go. Um, Thursday morning, this is about managing your inventory better. I mean, all the things that we talk about that's so important with inventory management because that is the core business of a distributor. But improving your customer fill rates and turning your, improving your custom inventory turns, your turn and earn or your GMROI, reducing your surplus and reducing your freight spend. We'll talk about metrics, KPIs, and objectives. These are the key to improvement. If you're not measuring, you're not moving. And of course, anyone that's familiar with Grant Howard, uh, we will talk about how to drive up your customer experience, the profitability and growth within your company, driving them to new success. So that's the inventory management session on Thursday morning at 8. Gary, if you could go ahead another slide. Friday morning, I'll be presenting the management by objective, management by measurement. And again, this is one of the keys. Um, a lot of organizations, a lot of companies say, Grant, what is your success at going into distributors and helping them be so successful? And from a big picture, three things, objectives, execution, and measurement. Do we have good objectives in place? Are we out measuring? And are we, do we have a good execution or process in between? And again, this is going to be about measurement, using objectives and measurements to drive change and to drive results. The key is being able to take data, which we have loads and loads and loads of today, but it's all out there scattered and not in a um, ready to use, point me in the right direction, show me the opportunities type basis. So taking that data and turning it into information, turning it into opportunities, and again, turning it into results, bringing that clarity and direction that so many distributors and employees of that distributor are looking for. And again, of course, customer experience, profitability and growth, and driving success to new levels. So don't miss Thursday morning at 8, Friday morning at 8, five other sessions mentioned. And just a little quick on this before we wrap up, um, the presentations I do, and as a presenter, I am known for high energy, fast paced, information packed, opportunity loaded with a real world impact. I have a passion to share and help drive stellar results help bring clarity, understanding, and connection to all the levels of the organization, from the firing line all the way to the executive management. Send, I like to send attendees out excited and fired up. They can't wait to go back and share, implement, measure, find opportunities, improve, and drive results to the next level. And as a wrap-up, again, for Tug Connects, again, been going there since its um, inception, and again, the networking groups and the networking that you'll be able to do with people, the presentations, it's amazing. You will be able to take back opportunities, business contacts, and a deeper understanding for distribution and the technology that's available to you. Thank you so much for having me part of your webinar today. I'm all set, Gary. Thank, Thank you, Grant. Grant. And I oh. will tell you from, from personal experience, I have, every time I have sat in on sessions done by Grant, I have walked out of there with an armful, armful and headful of ideas and been able to put them into, into practice as business. So it is one of those sessions along with the whole group that I just, I never met. So thank you very much, Grant. Gary, next slide, please. We are very pleased to welcome back Peter Sheehan, who is known internationally for his innovative business thinking and thought leadership. 
With staff in more than 23 cities across seven countries, he knows firsthand the challenges of growing a business in these rapidly changing times. Peter has advised leaders from companies as diverse as Apple, Goldman Sachs, Microsoft, Hyundai, IBM, Fitzer, Wells Fargo, and Cardinal Health. He is the author of seven international titles, including Flip, Generation Y, Making It Happen, and recently released Matter. Peter has delivered more than 2,500 presentations to over 500,000 people in 20 different countries. He has been named one of the 25 most influential speakers in the world by the National Speakers Association and is the youngest person ever to be inducted into the Industry Hall of Fame. Peter was so popular with our group last year that we've asked him back to expand on his message. And here's a brief clip. Dell, I'm sorry, I, I lost the video, so uh, we'll have to go on without it. Okay. Well, wraps. IBM is a diamond sponsor for Tug Connects, and this year we are proud to add Jacqueline Woods as a keynote speaker. Jacqueline is the Chief Marketing Officer of IBM Global Business Partners. Ms. Woods is an expert in helping companies integrate business and technology priorities across divisions and enterprises to accelerate revenue growth. Ms. Woods will be opening for our next keynote speaker, who just happens to be Mr. Charles Phillips. Charles Phillips has served as CEO of Infor since 2010, during which time the company more than doubled in size and became the first major software company to offer an integrated end-to-end -end application suite for the entire industry, the first industry cloud company. Now, we're going to hear from some of our network leaders and tug board. Leading us off is Brandy Alderman with First Supply. Uh, thank you, Della, and good morning, everyone. Um, I am Brandy, and I'm the Director of Information Technology at First Supply. I have been for three years, but I have 18 years in the SXE space, and this will be my 12th TUG conference. So I'm pretty excited to be the leader of the SXE Technical Network Group, and <coughs> excuse me, I'm so sorry. Um, this is the first year for this group, and we're really excited about it because it's the only group that is targeted for programmers and other technical people. We go deep into the details of how you do something. The other groups are, are great resources for understanding the, the SXE and how to use it, but what we want to focus on is, okay, now you have this technology, what do you do with it? What can you do to enhance it? And we're going to talk about real world examples from people like you, from people like your programmers and your administrators, and talk about how you, they've solved problems. And uh, learning how to use that technology surrounding SXC for your business, not just theoretical problems that might occur, but real ones that have come up. And it'll be, an opportunity to create a network of technical resources to bounce ideas off when you need it. If you're struggling with trying to solve a business problem and, and you know what technology you want to use but you don't know how to get started, where do you go? And the idea is this group will be that resource. So we hope you will come and send your technical people and join us because we think that being a member of this group and, and attending will help you become a hero to your organization by really knowing how to utilize the technology and really give that ROI on your investment without modifications to your system. So thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Brandy. Next up is Kathy Lundquist with NSA. Good morning, all. Um, I've been working with the SXE product for almost 25 years, longer than I care to admit. Um, four of those years was as a customer, and I'm um, going on over 20 years as a senior business consultant. This will be my eighth TUG conference, 
And the reason that I go to Tug, you would think after that amount of years of experience, you probably know as much as there is to know, but that is so far from the truth. The product is continually evolving. There's so much that we pick up from each other. Um, even as consultants, we pick up a tremendous amount, not only from uh, each other sessions, but from, from what our customers know. Uh, Tug Connects is by far, to me, the best opportunity to network with other users, um, for us to brainstorm real-world solutions, get excellent training, and for us, build relationships that last far beyond the conference. Matter of fact, this year, NSA is sending double the amount of associates that we have in the past. We'll be leading 14 sessions because we believe it's the most valuable investment in learning and meeting other customers. Um, this year will be my second as the, um, uh, the host for the WebUI Cloud Suite uh, distribution meeting. Um, the one thing that we get asked a lot of questions on is who can attend these? And the answer is it's open to everybody. You don't need to be a member of, of one of the networks. Just, just come. You get so much from it. As a matter of fact, there's so many good meetings going on at the same time. It's one of the other reasons we're bringing more associates is so we can divide and conquer and, and go to multiple meetings uh, rather than having to choose at one specific time. Um, during the Web UI CSD network meeting, we're going to be covering your list of hot topics. So we asked the, uh, the TUG community to submit what are some of the questions that you have that you want to ask in for about the evolving product of Web UI CSD. We gathered those together, and uh, that day, in four leaders, including Catherine Henn, Chris Weaver, and Eric Ryerson, will be addressing those questions, as well as having an open Q&A. We're also going to have a user panel. We got such tremendous feedback last year from people saying, we need to hear more from users. We need double the users, double the length of time for the users to speak. So for, uh, for the Web UI meeting, We'll have double the user panel, and that's an open feedback from them and a Q&A from the front lines of those who are already using the product. And there's also going to be a separate breakout session called Ask the Web UI CSD Customer that will be on a different day, so look for that. We think anybody is welcome to attend, but in particular, users who are on Web UI or CSD, those who are migrating to Web UI CSD, or anyone considering to or wanting to have more information about Web UI CSD. And we hope to see you there. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Kathy. We look forward to this meeting. So next up is John Kuchoba. He is with R.W. Gibson Consulting. Good morning. Uh, my name is John Kuchoba, and I'm with uh, the R.W. Gibson Consulting. I'm an operational general manager and uh, ERP manager for the Gear Center group of companies. Uh, have been on SX since uh, 2007, and I'm uh, glad to say that I've been to every tug since 2008. Uh, there are many exciting items and topics that we'll be discussing during our service and assembly meeting on March 13th. First of all, everyone's uh, welcome to attend. As you know, many user, SX users today are more than just distributors. They are relying more and more on less visible modules such as kit production, value add, service warranty, and in for service management. Come and meet similar users that are using these modules, ask questions, and shape the future of, of the software and enhancements. You also, are you also looking to bolt on a service or rental module in SX? An in for and single source representative will be at our meeting where you can learn in for's direction, visit the updated roadmap for service management, ask questions, and meet users that are in process of implementing this new module. And if that is not all enough, then come and learn about any third-party service program options in the marketplace and explore what others may be doing. On a personal note, there are several other reasons to attend TUG and not just to attend this network meeting. One, TUG is networking. Two, uh, selfishly I'm going to say uh, it's minus 35 out here today and I can't wait to get to Florida. Three, invisible ROI. Don't forget about the hidden benefits and unmeasurable reasons to attend TUG. It's an investment in your staff, employees, and of course boosts morale. Many executives I know get caught up in ROI. 
while I do agree with this, take into account this visible ROI. I didn't realize the true benefit of this until we did an extreme upgrade last month from version 5.5 to 11 GUI. All my years attending TUG, saved note-taking, business cards, contacts that I gathered since 2008 helped me in this conversion. When there was a problem after Go Live, TUG was there, and I leaned heavily on them. And lastly, TUG is family. Who doesn't want to visit any family? Many of my best friends, peers, mentors are fellow Tugians. Thanks very much for your time and hope to see you there. Thank you, John. Up next, we have Wendy Jindra with American Refrigeration Supplies. Hi, everybody. The countdown to Tug Connects is here, and you, if you haven't already registered, the time is now. I am Wendy Jindra the Director of Information Systems for American Refrigeration Supplies in Phoenix, Arizona. We've been running SXE for 20 years. I've been a member of the TUG since 2010 and have been attending TUG Connect since 2011. TUG Connect is the single most valuable conference I attend all year and I wouldn't miss it. The sessions are user-led, so they're about education and knowledge sharing among my peers rather than sales pitches like other conferences that I've been to. I've learned real-world best practices, gained new ideas, and discovered new and more efficient processes, processes in many of the sessions I attend and bring them back to my company. Most importantly, the networking channel I've built, as well as the relationships I've developed through Tug Connects, have been priceless and invaluable to me and my company. Tug Connects has a strong advocacy with Infor. A common voice has a large influence, and our voices are heard when it comes to important issues such as software development and support. Infor generally considers our views and wishes when decisions are being made about the products we use. Through attending Tug Connects, I've gained leadership skills. I've also met many new Tug members through the ambassador program held at Tug Connects. Lastly, I attend Tug Connects for the network meetings. This year, I'm looking forward to conducting and attending two of the group network meetings. I'm excited about the storefront group meeting. This year, the theme is storefront. It's not the Titanic. The topics discussed will be best practices, back-end processes, and the mobility phenomenon. A personal upgrade success story will also be shared. I'm also going to be the MC for the e-commerce group meeting this year. Special topics at this meeting will be assessing your digital readiness, e-commerce and ERP, determine the system roles for site harmony, and last but not least, case studies on moving from storefront to other platforms. I'm really excited and looking forward to Tech Connects, and I hope to see you all there. Thank you. Thank you, Wendy. Next up is Sherry Nichol with Lewis Paper. Thanks, Stella, and thank you to all those viewing the webinar this morning. I first started as child labor uh, back in 1990 in the green screen dumb terminal environment. The first conference I attended was back in 1996. It was not through the TUG organization. It did not exist back then, unfortunately. Um, and I was a fax user since 1993 at that point. And in 1996, I learned about a little thing called Y2K. And um, that was well ahead of its time, well before anyone in my company had ever had an inkling that something like that was going to take place. Then, at another user conference, I heard about a solution called Internet OnRamp, where, gas, God forbid, customers would be able to see your product information and inventory levels. What did that turn into? So throughout the years, Tug has had a great give and take exchange as evidenced by its sites forum. At the conference, we've had loyal participation by fax experts. In addition to Grant Howard, we have had developer Jeff Rosengarten and channel partner representatives Tim Plotner and Ralph Wallace. In fact, some of the takeaway nuggets that I've received from Ralph Wallace, Wallace back in 1996, I still use to this day. And when you have an exchange with the developers of the product, you're in a position of influence. And 
and they then can understand your business and what's going on in the distribution wor world on a day-to-day -day basis. So, so the give and take exchange is just invaluable. Those takeaway nuggets are also valuable to you. Things that you can take away for your long-term and short-term planning that you have to bring back to your executive team. In fact, what a great idea would be to try and get some of your key executives who are in a position of influence to attend the conference. Our executive summit has been very popular and growing every year. And remember, the people at the top, if they don't endorse what you're trying to do in the IT world, then you, your support, you won't have the support that you need. So really consider uh, attending the executive summit. And then also, most importantly, I feel at the conference are the network meetings. The fax one is scheduled for Wednesday morning and then in the afternoon it ends at 2 p.m. And then also the wrap-up sessions are very important too because wait very much. Thank you, Sherry. Next up is Larry Peral with PSMI. Thanks, Della. Thanks, everyone. Um, my name is Larry Peral and I work for PSMI. We're part of the EWI group of companies, and I've worked for PSMI for 16 years, and I've been using SXE since 2003. I'll be presenting the Q&D basic session at TUG for beginners that want to learn how to do some very basic concepts of writing progress scripts. Uh, I'm trying to move away from the, the term Q&D, so I'll cover that in my session as well as why we're moving away from that term. Uh, PSMI is currently going through some organizational changes, and we're now part of a group of companies called the EWI Group of Companies. Part of the changes include migrating all of our companies over to SXE from multiple legacy systems and platforms. Our management decided that the TUG conference would be a great experience to bring key players and allow them to network with Infor, other Infor and SXE users. With so many different sessions, the EWI group decided to send a large group this year in order to allow all of our new users to engage with SX users and benefit from all the different sessions. Uh, in previous history with the Tug Connect sessions that I've attended, uh, it was always a struggle for me to try and find enough of me to go to all the sessions I wanted to attend. So with a large group this year, we're hoping to cover as many of the sessions that will be beneficial. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. And finally, we have Brad McGuire with American Paper and Twine. Thank you very much. Uh, again, this is Brad McGuire from American Paper and Twine. I've been the director of IT for American Paper and Twine in Nashville for seven years, but I've been working with A-plus for over 23 and attending TUG for boy, a lot longer than I can remember. I just put it this way, my hair was not nearly this gray, actually not gray at all when I started. Um, in any event, I mean, there are so many reasons that I attend Tug Connects. I've been attending Tug for so long. At the top is definitely the networking and the learning, learning opportunities that come with it. Uh, I've shared and learned so much from the relationships that I've built with Tug, uh, as I'm sure a, a lot of folks have. Uh, it really helps to create just a newfound energy every year that I attend the conference with ideas that I've learned, um, both from just that networking and also the sessions that I attend. Uh, so I'd like to speak specifically a little bit about the A-plus agenda today. Uh, we've got some amazing sessions. It always starts with, uh, with the network meeting, which is one of the highlights of the conference for me. Uh, the A-plus network meeting has a great agenda just in and of itself. But uh, beyond that, uh, some of the other sessions that I'd like to highlight really are um, uh, uh, two specifically, the A-plus roadmap. And um, for those uh, that, um, that uh, are using A-plus, of course, I mean, the roadmap is very rich and um, there's a lot of development going on with it. Um, Megan Foley will be doing that uh, presentation as well as if anyone's interested in learning more about Cloud Suite distribution, she'll be doing a session on uh, Cloud Suite distribution for A-plus customers specifically as well. And um, for those of you that don't know, Megan has been with Infor for a long time. She started in sales and most recently she's moved into a product management uh, role and she is the new product manager of A-plus. Um, she's a great resource. She's an amazing person. Um, so if you uh, if you haven't met her, definitely come to Tug Connect to, to meet Megan. Uh, if you have, then uh, certainly come to Tug Connect to, to spend some time with her and she, she's a great listener as well. Uh, a couple other sessions, um, new sessions that I'd like to highlight are um, uh, 
specific to really the new release of A+, there were a lot of uh, enhancements that were put in uh, specific to um, HAZMAT and DOT regulations that, uh, that are going to be presented. Um, uh, there will be a storefront and e-commerce roundtable. Um, but also another one that I'm very excited about is Grizzly Mal uh, uh, Malchow will be um, doing a presentation on uh, some ways that uh, he at Northern Wholesale uh, Distribution uh, has really been able to modernize A plus and extend the functionality uh, to really um, to really boost user productivity. So I think that's a great session that I'm really looking forward to attending as well. But in any event, I hope you all uh, attend the conference. I'm looking forward to meeting new people and seeing some uh, some existing uh, uh, strong friendships that I've made and built. And uh, hope to see you all there. Excellent. Thank you, Brad. So before I turn this back over to Gary, um, I wanted to just share a little bit of on the personal side of, of why I go to to TAD. So I've been involved with Infor and SXA at some level for since well since the dawn of man. And recently I came to a bit of a crossroads in my career. It was a decision of do I stay the old course or do I reinvent my role and do I reinvent the role of my department. So really what I wanted to do was I wanted to become an innovative CIO. I wanted to make a huge change. But I needed some more ideas of where do I start. So what I, one of the things I've always gained from, from the Tug Connect is really ERP knowledge. Every time I attend, I walk away with some nugget that I didn't know before. But I started listening to topics outside of SXE. I started listening and attending things like IoT. I started listening to network people, talking to people that I had known for years about things other than just SXE. So really what I've done through, my, through the networking is I've gained this inspiration of how to change. And so really what I've done is taken back to my job things not only SXE, but network options, security options, this whole new internet of things. And I'm making a change within the culture of not only my department, but of my company. And that all came from touch. So Gary? Thank you, Della. And I'll go ahead and wrap this up. Um, here's a quick snapshot of Tug. If you've never been to one, um, this will give you some idea of the logistics and the, the value proposition that we have at the conference, starting off with over 500 users. These aren't presenters. They're not sponsors. These are users just like you. They're there to learn, and they're there to network. You want to build your network? This is the place to do it. These are users running FXE, A+, and FAX. So we represent all of the um, Infor distribution platforms that are currently being supported today. I want to talk for a second about Infor's investment in this conference, uh, just to, sh to highlight how important it is to them. And they're going to have over 45 attendees. Um, that they're uh, all the way from Charles Phillips uh, down through the rest of those um, types of attendees there. So, in terms of getting your voice heard, being able to network with uh, Infor people. Meet the guy you've been talking to on the phone for support for the last five years. All of that stuff, they're going to be there for you, and uh, and there's going to be plenty of opportunity to interact with them. So I can't say enough about the support that Infor has provided to um, to Tug Connects over the years. In addition to that, we've got our channel partner attendees. So um, all of the major channel partners will be there, and in a lot of ways, uh, they're the backbone for Tug or they're part of the backbone for Tug because uh, there's some deep expertise in all of these three distribution platforms. Um, there's probably going to be over 25 sessions being pre presented by our channel partners because of that expertise. And again, they're, you know, if you're on support with a channel partner, um, you want to be able to, to network with them as well, and they're going to be there for you. One of the other things that we've, we've got going on, and it's been growing year after year, is our solutions marketplace. So this year we're going to have more than 40 different sponsors uh, in, our, in our trade show, in our expo. And this is just a few of the, um, 
the type of solutions that you're going to see. Again, it's growing every single year. There's something in here for everybody. Um, this kind of functionality uh, adds to your ERP and it helps to streamline, it helps to make you more profitable. You would be amazed at some of the things, uh, some of the solutions that you will see in our trade show. So um, before, we, uh, before we finalize here, I probably should have mentioned this earlier, we do have some time for Q&A if anybody has a question, uh, feel free to type in a, in the question bank and, and if anything pops up, we'll take a look at that. And then also, I mean, you can raise your hand and uh, if we see your hand raised, we'll unmute you and you can participate in the conversation. So uh, what's missing? Well, obviously the videos are missing on today's webinar, which is my fault and I apologize. We had some really cool videos and, and uh, one of them was from Charles Phillips. So I did want to mention uh, when this is over, we posted the, the video for Charles Phillips um, on, the, on the TUG website and I'll bring that up here so you can see it in just a second or you can go visit it in just a second. Uh, or we'll, we will be putting it on the TUG site. And, um, and it's, it's a video that Charles did just for TUG, um, not just because he's the keynote speaker here. This is actually the third time that he's going to be a keynote speaker, but also to talk about uh, the value that N4 gets out of the TUG Connects meeting. What else is missing? The only other thing is you. So um, I will wrap this up by saying uh, if you weren't aware of us, Hopefully you know enough about TUG now to realize what the value is, and we hope to see you there. So uh, let me just take a quick peek and see if we have any questions, but I don't see any questions, and um, let's see if we got any hands raised here. I don't see any hand raised, so Della, I will turn it back to you for any closing comments, and if no questions pop up between now and then, uh, then we can call it a day. Thank you, Gary. I want to thank all of our presenters today. These network groups are are so important to our organization, to this whole the whole tug. Um, so we really hope to see you. Remember, everybody is welcome to the group. So even if you don't use the specific, you know, um, like you don't use service warranty, there's nothing saying you can't go to that group to actually learn how it would fit or would it fit or are there other aspects of that group that fit within your organization. So keep in mind, you're welcome to every one of the groups. We hope to see everybody in Orlando and we're keeping our fingers crossed for some beautiful weather, which I can't imagine is going to be anything but. So thank you very much. Have a great day. Thank you all.